Pro 29 here with a brand new video, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a lobby. This is a very cool feature, and it's going to teleport the players after they're enough in the bus. Obviously, I'm not a graphic designer, I'm a scripter. So, let's get right into this video, but first, please hit that subscribe button, it'll really help my channel to keep going. Own it, click that subscribe button, and yeah, let's get going. So the first thing I want you to do is I'm going to really quickly get rid of the scripts that I already have. Uh, that should be it. Okay. So, what I want you to do is I want you to add a... Alright. So, you should already make make your own um, shuttle bus. I'm not going to show you how to make the thing. But you need seats and a ground or floor for sure that's a part. Okay. And a door that is uh, can collide. So, if that doesn't make sense to you, if you're not uh, familiar with that, basically, the door, if you scroll down, it needs to be unchecked here. And it needs to be anchored. And you need to have the transparency set to, like, uh, 0.65. So it's kind of see-through, but kind of not. So first, um, go ahead and insert a script into server script service by um, clicking, clicking the little plus icon and searching script. And then what you're going to do is you're going to, uh, sorry, I'm looking at my notes, uh, say game dot whoa, players dot player added colon connect function. PLR, and I'm going to start explaining my scripts because I had a request for that. Um, but let me finish the script first. Local ready equals instance dot, uh, dot new bool value. Whoops, not body colors. Um, bool value, like that. Okay. Uh, ready dot parent equals PLR. Ready dot name equals ready, like that ready dot value yes, equals false. So, what this is doing is it's making a new value called a bool value. What this, uh, what a bool value is, if you ah, insert a bool no, value, no. shh, no. <laughs> sorry, my brother playing Fortnite in the background. If you insert a bool value, you will see that no. the value is no, either so checked no. or unchecked, um, right here, right? Okay. Hey, so no. you can uncheck it or check no. it, and that is either true or or false. Sorry about that. Um, sorry uh, about that inter interruption. Anyway, so um, we are saying the value is false, the name is ready, and its okay, parent is PLR, right. so it's inside of the player. Okay? And this just means we just made that bool value when they join. All right, so that's that script. The next script is going to be on. Uh, let's let's do the door first. So you have your door, and I want you to insert a script into that by plus, uh, pressing the plus icon, switching script again. Um, script dot parent dot touched colon whoops colon connect um, function like that. Hit. I'm gonna once again finish the script and then I'll explain it. If hit dot parent colon find first child humanoid, then um, local PLR equals game dot players um, colon wait for child, P uh, sorry, hit dot parent dot name. Yeah, let me exit this out real quick. Um, and then, so go ahead and take a pause right there, and what I want you to do is insert a part in the very middle of your bus, and move it up a little bit, or whatever vehicle you have that's supposed to transport them to the game, like that, and then come down here to position, and copy that position, alright? So, next what you're going to do is, you're going to, where was that script, in the door, um, so once you have that copied, you can get rid of the part, and you can say if plr dot ready dot value equals equals false, then uh, plr dot ready uh, dot whoa, value equals true. Um, script dot parent dot parent. Okay, here we need to pause for a second again, and insert. So this should be one model, right? Your entire thing. You should insert a um, an int value. An int value is a value that holds numbers, right? So set that to zero, and we're going to name this uh, current uh, members, okay? Like that. We can do another one and call this one requ uh, required, 
okay? So this is how many people, this number right here, change it to however many people you want before they can teleport to the game, right? Um, so if you need at least seven people to be in the game, then you would change this to seven. Um, for the purposes of the video, I'm going to do one so that I can do it all by myself. Um, so next, next, we are going to um, insert a, a, give me one second, guys. Here, it's right here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry. Um, uh, so next we are going to, uh, in the, once you have set the required amount, sorry about the interruptions, guys, um, we are going to go back into the script that we were on, and where it says script dot parent dot parent dot uh, current members uh, dot value equals script dot parent dot parent dot current values dot uh, current members dot value plus one so uh, let's let's just finish the script and then I'll explain it uh, and then we can say else uh, hit dot parent dot humanoid root part dot c frame whoa that would have been an error c frame equals c frame dot new and paste that number that you had earlier into there. So, what this is saying, if it is a player, if when it's touched, if the thing that hit it is a player, um, then the when now whenever we say PLR, that means they're the actual player. Okay? And then we can say if player.ready.value equals equals false then. So if they they haven't gone into the bus yet, then they're going to make it true and it means that they are in the bus now and script up parent current members value so it's adding one member to the value right um else hit dot parent dot humanoid root part dot c frame equals c frame dot new so uh, negative, uh, and your your number so what that's saying is if they've already gone into the shuttle bus they can't go back out um so let me demonstrate real quick if we go ahead and play here if you walk out um onto uh, into the bus right you walk into the bus what current sorry um don't worry about this um this is uh just don't worry about this right now um let's see and then we can say so if we go try and go out it won't work see we can't go out all right so, <laughs> I have an error because I forgot to take the, um, where is it, the floor script out. We're going to have a script in the floor later, and I forgot to take it out of mine. Um, let me, there it is. So, um, that's what that error was. Anyway, uh, the next thing, sorry about the background noise. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the inside of the bus, okay? So what we're going to do, on top of your seats, each and every one of your seats, you're going to have to have a part that is transparent, right? So I'll show you what you're going to do to do that. Uh, these two seats don't have them on already, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you what I did. You can make this completely transparent, anchor it, and can collide equals false. Duplicate it and put it on top of each seat. This is vital, um, so you really need to do this. Um, and then, um, let's see. Okay, so we're just going to add a script inside of the model. This is just to make sure everything's working right, okay? And we're going to say script.parent.currentmembers. Uh, or sorry, colon get property change signal value, colon connect. Um, Function uh, if script dot parent uh, dot current members dot value equals equals script dot parent dot required dot value then print uh, enough players whoops um, else print not enough. So, what this is just saying, it's going to let us know if we have enough players to teleport them or not. So, this is saying, um, when a new player enters the bus, we're going to check and see if our current members is equal to the required amount, or we have enough players. So, um, in my situation, we do, because I have the required equal to 1 for the tutorial, but if your required is like 10 people, you need 10 people to start playing it, then 
it's not going to be that. So it's, mine says enough players. Yours should not say enough players, okay? So uh, we are almost there. We have one more script left. So this is exciting. We're almost at the end. Um, now I want you to open up your floor, or go into your floor of the bus, right? Here we go. This is the floor. Press the plus icon, insert a script, and we're going to say uh, local teleport service equals game colon get service tel teleport service. Okay. Local place ID underscore one equals, and now we need to do something interesting, okay? So we've never done this before in one of my tutorials. What you're going to do is go into view, and you're going to go into game explorer. Then what you're going to do is you're going to make a new place in places. You're going to right click and add a new place. I've already made one, so I'm going to open it up. And what you're just going to do is you're going to go into your story game that you've already made, right? So you have your story game you've already made, and you're just going to copy and paste everything in the workspace, in replicated storage, in server script service. It takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it in the end. So, um, I already did that from when, uh, my other tutorials, and I just copied and pasted it into here, and it looks really good, actually. And what we're going to do is we are going to go on to, to sorry, that's my, uh, that's my, uh, anyway, uh, we're going to go into Ro uh, Roblox, and we're going to go to Lobby. And we're going to say com uh, configure start place, I believe it is. Uh, no, sorry. It is configure game right here. And we're going to go into created places and create. Oh, wait, whoops. This isn't it. Places, sorry. Story game. So, uh, like I said, I renamed mine by right clicking on it, it uh, and renaming it. Um, and then you can go to story game right here. And copy and paste this ID, right, or copy that ID right there, that one in the link. I don't know if you see it because of the screen. I think you do, though. Um, next, what we're going to do is we're going to go back into that script that was on the floor, right? And we're going to, where is it? ba ba dum bum ba dum ba dum bum I'm vibing. All right, equals, and then paste that ID right there. Now drop a couple lines, uh, sorry, uh, one line. Local function uh, on part touch like that um, other part okay so when it's touched we're gonna do this uh, do this next script local player equals game dot uh, players colon get player from uh, from character uh, other part dot part so we're gonna um, get the player so now whenever we say player it's the, the actual player that uh, is ready to get teleported and we can say if player and if it so if it is a player and script dot parent dot parent dot current members dot values equal equals equals script dot parent dot whoa, whoa, whoa sorry uh, dot parent dot parent dot um, required dot value then so if we have enough players um, then we're going to say teleport service colon uh, teleport place ID one comma player and then out of this end we're just going to call the function and we're going to say when this brick is touched script dot parent dot touch uh, colon connect uh, on part touch okay that is it, and then what you're going to do is you're going to copy that script. We're done scripting for this, and you're going to find all the invisible parts that you made, right? All of these. You can even highlight it in the Explorer, and then you can right-click and push Paste into Selected. And that should be all for the tutorial, um, and I'm going to go ahead and publish this to Roblox because you can't teleport to another game in Studio. So I have published that to Roblox. And I'm going to go ahead and try this out, make sure everything works fine. Oh, cool, like, we're playing. <laughs> uh, my friends. Anyway, uh, I'm going to test this out with you guys, make sure everything's working fine. And um, so, right, I have my required value is 1. If yours is 10, then it's not going to work because it knows it needs more players. However, mine is equal to 1, so everything should work just fine. 
Um, let me walk up to the bus, and it should teleport me in to the game. Just give it a second. Sometimes it takes a little bit of, uh, a little bit of time. We can, um, if it's not seeming to work, open up the settings, open the developer console. Teleport service is not a valid property name. Oops, we have a typo in our code. Let's leave this game. Uh, go back. So I'm going to undo that because that would, um, we don't want to take it out one by one. Um, undo that. Okay, so let's go back into our floor real quick. Where is our floor? Where is our floor? Oh, it was right there. Whoops. Okay, our floor, and we can, uh, where was it? Teleport service. Um, game colon. Oh, get property change signal. Why did I write that? Sorry, it's get service. I thought I, um, it must have auto-corrected. Get service, teleport service. That should work better. Um, teleport, yep. Perfect. So, uh, now you can publish that. Sorry, that was an error on my part. Um, the, the, actually, it was kind of studio's fault. Anyway, let's join this now that that should be fixed and everything should be working fine. Let's test this out. So, if that works, I think that's the end of the tutorial, and I will continue making more story game tutorials if you want, um, but let me make sure this works fine. Um, let's walk up, boom, boom, just wait for the server, are there any errors? Okay, um, function on part touch, part is not a valid member of mesh part, so we have another error, uh, give me a sec guys, sorry about that, <coughs> uh, sorry. I had a timer set for my um, video, thought we were going to be done by now. That's alright. Um, so let's look in our code, and it said part is not a valid member of mesh part. Um, on part touch, other part. Let's look through our code real quick. Local player equals other part dot parent. Oh, I just said part, not parent. That is that is our only issue. We need this right here, this line, line 4, to say parent, not part. Uh, that was a typo on my part. So, <laughs> my part, get it, huh? Um, <laughs> anyway, that should work finally. It's about time. Um, you got a vibe while you're waiting for it to load. Um, so that should work. I think that is everything. Let's join this, make sure everything is working. What the heck? Ow, that hurt. Okay, so it should teleport us unless there's any other error. Let's, uh, oh, nope, look, it works fine. So, and then we're here, we're at our story game, yay! Um, and yeah, everything works fine. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, I've been waiting to make this video for quite a while. And yeah, um, make sure to please hit that subscribe button. Really not that hard. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching.